Hello and welcome to another episode. This episode is about car scanner um, and use car scanner with an OBD adapter, which I've shown many times before, which is like know, less than 20 quid. And you can just dump data out of your car. Uh, that's the basic function of it. During the week, Kevin Bailey contacted me and gave me a heads up that one of the issues with the EV3 and car scanner has now been fixed. So if you plug your adapter back in and open car scanner, then press dashboard. And then go back to the first screen, which is Bjorn style. You'll notice down the bottom, 12 volt battery state of charge and 12 volt battery current and 12 volt battery voltage. Don't get updated at all. That's because this dashboard is set up for the previous generation of EV6 and the newer EV. And the actual sensors, the car scanner have changed in the new version of all the cars. So to change it, you've got to double tap on the pane like that. And then you pick the sensor and scroll to the very bottom. And you'll notice that it's got a whole bunch of ICC U225s and various things. So you've got um, auxiliary battery current, auxiliary battery state of charge, percentage, auxiliary battery temperature, auxiliary battery voltage, LDC input voltage, LDC output current, LDC output voltage, and LDC temperature. All of these work on the new EV3. I would guess the EV6 facelift and the Ionic 5 products enhancement. So I want the state of charge, so I'll pick that one. And then I've got to go and edit the description because it's too massively too long. So I'll change that to 12 volt. I'll change that to 12 volt percentage, percentage SOC. Go back. Sometimes these new values take a while to appear. Um, I don't know why, I've not figured it out yet. And now I'll double tap on battery current and change that one. And then edit the description. back on that and now you'll notice that the 96 percent state state of charge has appeared on the 12 volt sensor so you've now got something in that sensor for the first time since i've had the ev3 and if i go into 12 volt battery voltage and fix that one and then edit the description down Press back. <clears throat> then I found the values disappear, but they will come back. What I found is if I disconnected and reconnect, they will reappear. So um, I'll do that now. I've had a look at the sensor properties on each one and I can't see anything different from the other 12 volt ones. So I'm not quite sure why it's taking so long for those values to update. But I was testing this earlier, it did it to me then and then I disconnected, reconnected, then opened the screen again. Maybe if I swap screens, I don't know. Strange. Yep, 
Anyway, you've seen it on the other two um, panels. So it's just a matter of time before they appear. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but this is the only way you can get the 12 bit badges to appear. Maybe there's a bug in car scanner. I mean, I went in, edited the description, uh, put a V on the end of voltage and came back out and they've appeared. So uh, are they changing though? Yes, they are. The 12 battery current's changing. Isn't that strange? But anyway, there you go. Thanks again to channel member Kevin Bailey for the heads up on this. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.